Hello and welcome to All Lubed Up and Nowhere to Go. I'm your host, Ryan, my co-host, Tori. And we are here to spend the holidays with you guys. Now, while we normally do a live show, of course, to bring season's greetings to everyone, we just wanted to put together a short little show to keep you all company because we're here and we're here to stay. But I'm not working tomorrow. Not at all. <laughs> Some of you may be with your families or you may not be due to the current climate. Whatever the case may be, we wanted to wish you and everyone that you love the happiest holidays. Today's show is going to be full of cheer and what better way to spread the joy around than with baking from the heart. We put together a nice little segment bringing you in the kitchen. Thank you from the studio. This is Tori and Ryan brought to you in the kitchen. We are going to be making a very special recipe. Now, this recipe comes from dear grandma Dee Dee. And unfortunately at this time during the pandemic, she's just not quite safe to travel. And I'm sure many of you out there have people in your life that maybe you're not able to see this year. So we thought we'd put together something that maybe makes you feel a little bit more of home or gives you an opportunity to share some really nice celebrations that you have with your family that you guys do as a tradition every year. And eat. And cookies. We need <laughs> moss cookies. Even though we get lots of treats during the holidays, uh, we like it, never enough. So of course, we are gonna go through some of the ingredients. So that's all the ingredients you're gonna need. Now I am going to be doing this via a KitchenAid. It's gonna mix it for me, a little hands-free, but you of course can mix this lovingly by hand with a spatula, a beater, anything like that. How old's your KitchenAid now? This so baby is old and it still runs like the day I bought it. So let me tell you, if hey, you're looking you're for a good- it. That was a Christmas gift yeah. when we were just dating. So that meant something. Oh, the first utensils <laughs> and kitchen gadgets that you buy for the young couple. I also have so a Christmas sweater. It was a weird thing. We can talk about that story later. So give me one moment. I'm going to set up the bowl. We're going to mix everything in. And my lovely Vanna White is going to help us with a step-by-step -step walkthrough of the tastiest, softest, chewiest, oatmealiest cookies you've ever had. Okay, so it's now time to get into some pleasure parodies, some Carol's lube style. Now, we're gonna be bringing on our producer tonight, Jamie, as she has some special cheer Yay, to share with Jamie. all of you. Hello, everybody. Pleasure to meet you all for these pleasure parodies. If y'all didn't know, Jamie's the one that makes the things happen. Thank you, Jamie, for being with us today. All of the things, this one. All of the things. <laughs> Man, I'm glad. Hey, I'm glad that we were able to get our matching hats together. We're here. It's Christmas Eve, and I'm just super excited about about it all. I missed the pigtail memo. Mm. I know. That's okay. Next, Next time. time, I'll have to grow it out if I'm going to do pigtails with you guys. <laughs> so let's try and be, be inclusive. Process. Okay. It's going to be a process. Yeah. Now. When we do this, we'd also like to send it out to the community out there. Have you ever thought of a naughty Christmas jingle? I'm sure you have one in your head. Even if it's half or a quarter, 
we'd love to share in some laughs with you. It's so make a sure song. a quarter song. Oh, I'll take okay. anything. It's all, all right. good to me. I all love right. parodies. But make sure to post yours to our Facebook page and share some holiday cheer with everyone. Now we're going to be sharing our renditions with you and hopefully we inspire some creativity on your side. They're great. I'll tell you what, I am a trained professional singer. <clears throat> oh yeah. Same Z's. Uh, same Z's. I bet you, I bet you Ryan's going to be the best singer of us all. Oh, I already <laughs> Now I have some experience caroling. Lay it on us. Mm, my beautiful pipe. No, I'm going to do Now I'm ready. <clears throat> I've seen the balls, sweet silver balls, sometimes in gold, not but to hold. Put them inside, enjoy the ride. Some like to squat, hope they don't drop. Some like to shop with them inside, hope they don't slide. I'll have to hide. My friends have said that it's important if you have kids to be prepared. Oh, how they pound, oh, how they pound. Bounce back is hard, raising the sound. These do the job, oh Hillardale, three times a day, it's fun to say. Ding dongy dong, ding dongy dong, <laughs> ding dongy dong, ding dongy dong. All right, Ryan, Ryan wins. Uh, so wow. yeah, we don't need to go, Ryan wins for sure. <laughs> best, best carol off. Yeah, I think it would be, you know, I guess nice of me and us to, to also join in on this. So, uh, this is a classic Mariah Carey song. I don't think she was talking about lube when she was singing it, but I'm going to give a crack at it. So we don't know. open to artistic interpretation, right? Right. We don't know. Right. We don't know. Exactly. Exactly. All right. I don't want to laugh for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. I already have the dildos underneath the Christmas tree. I just want it for us both, more than you could ever know. Make my wish come true. All I want for Christmas is Lou. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> you think that she's ever gotten lube in her life? I hope so. I bet so. I bet it had golden flakes in it, and the bottle itself was made of crystal, and it was hand-picked and selected and handed to her from a monk of the Appalachian I Order. Think, I don't think gold flakes are good for your vaginal flora. It's not, but people buy weird things for their vajayjay. Does everybody remember vajazzling? Yeah, but that didn't. That was not That's inserted. External. That You're was right. external. I'm Point saying. Taken. I don't know if gold flakes would have been a good a good a good uh, setup for Mariah. Come on, speaking of Christmas songs, I know you put together one too. Oh, here we go, guys. You ready for this? My lubricant Christmas song. You ready? Oh, lubricant, oh lubricant, how lovely is your slickness? <laughs> oh, lubricant, oh lubricant, how good you feel on my skin. <laughs> you got so clean and sexy tie, always wet and never dry. <laughs> oh, lubricant, oh lubricant, from all of us, Merry Jomas. <laughs> Bad hearts. Oh, that was beautiful, Tori. I, oh, you know, you. the thing is with parodies, it just makes everything a lot more fun. We already know these songs, but why not uh, entertain everyone in the realm of the industry with some industry speak in the songs? Now you're all part of a big inside joke. And I'm every year we can have a nice lap about kegel balls. <laughs> I really hope someone wears kegel balls while they're watching this. Just coincidentally. I'm sure. I'm absolutely positive it's happening right now. I would love to see that video of somebody singing to us better than we just sang. You know, you don't need to tell me if you got your kegel balls in or not, but <laughs> maybe that's the key. Having and, the kegel show balls us up on our songs here. The kegel balls are what makes you sing better once mm -hmm. you have them in. You know, it's the, the pelvic floor, the diaphragm, they're all, you know, they're, I hear they're all connected some way. Now we'd like to get into a segment that we call Home for the Holidays. We gathered some photos from the internet of various naughty elves, very, very naughty, seasonal displays, and of course, everyone's favorite, Pornaments. <laughs> I didn't know Pornaments were a thing until recently, so this is great. 
our naughty elves on the shelves, holiday displays, and more. Woo! Okay, so this looks like some speculums up here from Carrie McKinnon. This was found on P3. Carrie, we love you. Uh, and they're dressed as reindeer, and I think that that's absolutely great. Like, what an innovative way to, innovative way to show a display. Yeah, I would feel a little, like, less scared of those instruments at my gynecologist's office if they looked happier. So I think <laughs> it happen all year round. I need a face <laughs> on my equipment <laughs> before said pap smears. Thank you, gynecologists everywhere. And I just thought of a new uh, creepy one-man show involving puppets. <laughs> oh, no. So that might happen. Leave it to Ryan to take it one too far, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, just a little, but it's okay. That's This whole show takes it too far, and I like that. <laughs> oh, this one's oh, adorable. So this is from um, Sexessories in Vancouver. Uh, from Sheila Aboot. Beautiful. I want. I wish I walked around in like fabulous boudoir clothes like that with a fan. At this point, it would. If I was walking around with a fan, I'd just be beating my children with it. Yeah, and there's a whole language of fans. You could be like, "I like you, but you need to pay me first. Yeah. This one we got an upside down tree. This is from Michelle Bland. The store name was not given. Is this, is this just because 2020 is upside down? Because I think I, that's incredible. <laughs> I, I would like that. I mean, I would like to say that that's what it is. It's definitely like an upside down Christmas. And uh, we got some nice uh, Christmas themed lingerie. Michelle, you got to you gotta let me know the reason behind the upside down Christmas tree, please. I think I'm right, but I definitely want to be right. <laughs> All right. This one's from Bad Kitty from Va Valerie Smith. Yeah, it's another upside down and then a right side. Is this like the naughty side of the store and mm -hmm. then the nice side of the store? Maybe? That's what I'm thinking. What a cute open sign, though. I have to say, uh, that's a great open sign. It's very cute. All right, uh -huh. we got the naughty elves on the shelf. So this is, it looks like Elfie and Barbie having a little uh, bubble bath together. Our elf's name is Bernardo. So this is Bernardo and Barbie. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is stuff that you can put in your stores and maybe in your homes only if you don't have children. This also, this one doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. I could probably get away with Bernardo. You know, Livy, one of your one of your Barbies is is taking a, a jacuzzi with Bernardo. This one. Is <laughs> if my three year old found out that Barbie got a chance to take a bath with Bernardo, she'd be like, "Yeah, man, that sounds cool. They had a good time." All right. Oh, reading Fifty Ooh. Shades of Grey. I mean, I'm happy to see Bernardo is uh, keeping up with the times and he's reading. Look at that smile on his face. That's a devious smile. I know. Side note, last time I went to go visit my nine-year-old grandfather, he had the whole series of Fifty Shades of Grey on his bookshelf. True story. And I was like, hey, mom, who got Fifty Shades of Grey for grandpa? Like, he's 90. I didn't know what I was saying. She was like, oh, nope, that was grandma. And my grandma's been dead for like two, three years and the book is still on the show. Oh, no. My power to you guys. You do you do you. You do you. Yeah, you know, no shame, no shame in the game at all. I never read the books or saw the movie either. Right. No shame in it. I just know I'm gonna be paying close friends to come clean my house if I ever pass. <laughs> oh yeah, right. I'm gonna light your boxes on fire. All on fire. Look at Bernardo's being very naughty again. Ooh. Yeah, this one is stalking. At least he's got a brunette this time. All right. Oh, this one. At this least we're being, you know, safe. This stuff. is very naughty. I hope he's not trying to put all those condoms on at once because that's not safe. This is going to be that scene from 40 year old virgin where oh he my literally God. just blowing through each one of them backwards, sideways, blowing it up like a big trombone. <laughs> yeah, hopefully not. I do. I do like though, you know, the, the showing of condoms, it would have been cool if there were some skin condoms in there. I love those. Would have been really cool if it would have been like uh, like a female condom or something. When are we going to start seeing uh, different varieties um, in media? You know. Well, and Bernardo, where's your lube? Come on, dude. Yeah. Right. No lube. Not well, at all. <laughs> this one's kind of actually really cute. I know he's hanging in panties, but look at his cute little rosy cheeks. This is like a, a different version of our Bernardo. Right. This doesn't even look like it's that naughty. It just he got caught up in some laundry on the drying the the dryer Which line. Be naughty. I guess if he was like his face down in the crotch, that would be naughtier, but 
And I feel like the hands are looking like they're kind of tied up. So maybe it's some sort of bondage going on here. I can see that. I can't get over his adorable face, though. He just looks way too happy about being bondaged in panties. The time for pornaments has come. And these things, you guys, I was so excited to show you them. (laughs) Okay, so gingerbread fucking. Look at how happy they look, too. They look real happy. Because they're getting intimate and not eaten. Run, oh, run as fast know. as you can. You can't catch him. He's the gingerbread man. Oh, see, we're still doing some parodies here. Mm. Look at that. Oh, look bondage at the snowman. snowman. I and love the top hat. and bottom fashion. Very in style this year. That's a cute one. If if ornaments are cute, they are cute to me. Well, snowmen yeah. are like chubby little marshmallows. Yeah, so they're that. always cute. Look at how happy they are, living their best life. You do Absolutely. you, snowman. I'm about it. And you don't know where the first snowman starts and the other one begins. This is true. This is, this is you know, it, that's intimacy, right? Two connecting into one. Melt it with really me, is. snowman. Come to the summer rays. All right, we got a, a peeled penis. Peeled penis on your tree. It's yeah. appealing. <laughs> ah. Oh, God. <laughs> I love this that. This reminds me. Stacy has a has a wine stopper that's like a monkey holding a banana in his in his genital region, <laughs> and it's cute. Or maybe it's not a monkey. Maybe he's just banana man. But then the <laughs> his his banana penis is is the stopper part of the. Oh, wine. I love that. So I need to I need to purchase this ornament for Stacy. Is is the long train of thought for that? Yeah. All right, and then my my personal favorite. <laughs> It's like mistletoe balls. Yeah, exactly. It is mistletoe balls. Gotta Um, just leave it hang in there. Is that like is that like the mistletoe jam, but like mistletoe balls? And if you haven't heard the mistletoe jam with Luther Vandross, when you're done here, you go listen to that. Because it's it's phenomenal. I've been in this space as far as a media sense for you know, about five years now, but I'm kind of new to the whole retail and that aspect of it. So I think that it's really cool, the different displays that people come up with and the types of marketing they kind of try to sneak in there. So post your displays, guys. Do it for Jamie. Do it for me. I would love to do it for Jamie. Forget about Ryan. Do it for Jamie. (laughs) Do it for me. I need that shirt, Jamie. I need forget about Ryan. Do it for Jamie. Do it for Jamie. Yep. Swag. Oh my god, um, that would be amazing. I absolutely love that. And I hope that everyone was that's here and it's home for the holidays or getting the kick out of the the ball decorations. Speaking of which, cool thing that we saw uh that I'm inspired by is the Calex uncork line as I take a sip of my wine. Um I think that's fabulous to uh you know pair your evening with not only your wine but your vibe. Um, perhaps even your food. So I am now putting on the the hat, so to speak, of oh, what can I what can I pair my evenings with? You know, get your right vibe, get your right wine, get your right lube. Get your get your mind right, get your get your groove on. That's how Stella got her groove back. I'm pretty sure. I didn't yeah. see the movie. But yeah, I'm just if anyone needs very last minute gift ideas, um, I'm not sure if they're on shelf yet. But the idea of, of pairing wine and and vibrators is fantastic. So. Hats to you, Calex. Yeah, I really, really liked that too. I think it's just great. I think it's a great idea as far as like, you know, marketing. It's like you're sitting at home. Who doesn't feel sexy when they have a glass of wine sometimes? I don't know if you have too much wine. Maybe not so sexy. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's when like you, uh, that's, I feel like that's, I imagine going from the glass to the entire bottle. That's yeah. when that transition. Uh, that's, that's, that's when that. I mean, it depends how many hours we look in that. Is there a meal in between? But then also, don't eat too much. That could be. If there's a sub thing. sandwich involved, everyone will make it out just fine. Too much information. All right, and now with that being said, we'd like to take this back over to the kitchen to talk a little bit about decorating our fancy cookies and to show you uh, what has come out of the oven. I bet you're waiting to see what the cookies look like. I've got my crappy apartment oven back over here and they are all cooked and ready to go. So let me pull them out. And this is a delicious treat. Oh, 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 look at those bad boys. 
You can tell I had a little bit of a hot spot on the back of my oven because this one back here is just a little bit darker on this side, but everything else pretty good. Thanks for watching this special cooking tutorial on some delicious raisin chocolate chip cookies. From everyone at Joe and here at All Lubed Up, we just really want to miss you a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and just a phenomenal weekend if you're just enjoying the holiday time off. Now, we're going to have another pre-recorded show releasing at this time next week, which is going to be Thursday at 6 p.m. PT. It's the time slot for our show. But join us live once again in the start of the new year on our Facebook page. Make sure you are following our Facebook page, The All Lubed Up Show, and visit our website, alllubedupshow.com, for more shows, blogs, questions, comments, and product trainings. We also brought our little alopecia <laughs> puppy to come say hi. He barely has any fur, and he needs to wear sweaters in the winter to keep him warm. Dog interlude for everybody. <laughs>